Monarchs, this is Miss Hayes and today I'm going to show you how to use MLA formatting in Google Docs. So first thing you need to do is you need to write your name, you need to write your teacher's name, you need to write the class period or the course title, and you need to write the date. And all of this needs to go in the top left hand corner of the page. And then you also need to have page numbers and you need to have those page numbers in the top right. So to add page numbers in Google Docs, you're going to go up to insert and you are going to go to page number at the bottom and then click one to two. Now you also need to have your last name next to that page number. So you're just going to type that there. All right, so the next thing you need is your title, and your title is not anything special. You're not going to make it big. You're not going to make it a different font. You're not going to make it bold or italicized or underlined. It is as boring as it can be. So you're going to type your paper title in the center of your paper underneath your header. Then you're going to skip a line, and you are going to type your paper underneath that. just like that. Now, my paragraphs in MLA must be indented. So I'm gonna to go to my paragraphs and I'm going to indent them by hitting tab. I'm gonna indent this one and this one. Okay, now I also need to double space my paper. So to do that, I'm going to highlight the entire body, like my entire paper, and I'm going to go up to this button that says line spacing, click on that and say double. And then it automatically double spaces my paper. Now I also need a works cited page. So I'm gonna go to the next page and I'm going to make a new title. Again, it's nothing special and I'm gonna call this works cited. And I'm gonna skip a line and I'm going to copy and paste that citation that I either pulled from my source or maybe it's the citation that I pulled from EasyBib or maybe it's one that I wrote and formatted myself. So I'm gonna go find my citation and I'm gonna copy this and paste it into my Google Doc. Now, I'm not done with my citation because I still need to do that hanging indent. So to do that, I'm gonna highlight the whole thing and I'm gonna go up here to this, this carrot, this blue thing, and I'm gonna scoot that whole thing over half an inch. Now I'm gonna click on just the top one and scoot that over. So that moves my top line over and then my two bottom lines have that hanging indent. And then I'm going to paste my second citation and that second citation will need to be pasted in alphabetical order. This citation starts with a B. My last citation started with an H. So I'm going to put it above that citation right there. And once again, I need to do my hanging indent. So I'm going to highlight it. And so there I have my Works Cited page. Now the last thing I need to do is make sure my font is acceptable font for MLA. So since this is Google Docs, I'm gonna to go to Times New Roman Font and I'm gonna make it size 12. I'm gonna do the same thing to my header. Times New Roman Font, size 12. So see how now my Works Cited page is on the same page as my paper? I need it to be on its very own page. So I'm going to move it down so it's all alone on its own page. And now my paper is MLA formatted in Google Docs. That's all I have for you for today. If you have any questions, you can email me at kelly.hayes at aps.edu or you can check out my website at misshayes.org. Thanks for watching.